Hey guys, Tyrant up here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Eindhoven country. Today so this morning in the north, we have Baton playing as US forces. Straight away going for Airborne. Getting a Pathfinder start. Team with him, we have Vic as Brits, who has Royal Engineer, Mobile Assault, and Commandos. From the south, Google Translate tells me this is... Tiger Ben Han and Tang Dynasties. As OKW who has Grand Offensive, Overwatch and Scavenge. And finally we've got so Stocky as Oss who has Spearhead, German Mechanized and Jaeger Armor. This is a uh, all random team uh, affair. Both the allies are uh, Somewhere between 10 and 20. The Axis uh, Tiger Ben is in the 30s and Stocky is 8. So a pretty high ranking match today. Okay, we've got an early sniper from Stocky. Vic, of course, playing Brits. Does have the option to counter snipe, does have to tech first. And has already done that. Going for a three section start. We've got triple pathfinders for Baton as well. So that sniper does switch back across to the other side. So we're going to have a tough time. All these pathfinders hiding around. Could potentially get counter sniped. Here we go. Oh, it did briefly reveal itself, but the pathfinders also reveal themselves. Shooting at the Grenadiers. Let's call for the sniper though. Pathfinder is charging in. And that sniper getting some nice damage done. Four kills already. These green is hanging on quite well, considering how low they are in front of these pathfinders as well. Getting a little bit lucky. Slow engagement there on the far side. We've got a few beacons up from Baton as well. Makes a lot of sense. Don't cost anything to plant. I'll provide you with some nice intel as well. Sniper actually did get quite low there. Got to be very careful. Is that, that kind of health threshold where I think it could get one shot by a Pathfinder. Got the officer though from Vic. Not going to go for the counter sniper immediately at least. Sniper is technically on the other side of the map. There's a grenade through there but easy dodge by Tiger Ben. Now some Grenadiers arriving. Not looking too good for the re echelon on this site. Captain first for Baton. We're losing a capture point. Now branching out to the far VP. Sniper switching from side to side, but as I was saying, uh, it does have to be careful. With that amount of health. These camouflaged pathfinders could potentially get some kills. Does have an idea of where these troops are thanks to the uh, beacon. Maybe we can. Oh, it's a bit too slow to activate it, but. No surprises there for Baton. Doesn't know about that sniper though. It's a little bit too far away. I find it coming in from the side. We've got the MG in the building. Doesn't quite suppress in time. This is dangerous. Pathfinder switching focus fire. But only got like one shot through. Does he end up getting away? Oh, could this be the end of the coup wagon getting caught in the corner? Officer does a lot of damage with the SMGs. Down it goes. But Jaeger Lights coming out for Tiger Ben. You know, Jaeger Lights very strong against Brits. Oh, big suppression. Dodging away from the grenade nicely though, Tiger Ben, expecting the officer to continue around the corner, and it did. 
The squads did come out of suppression though while the machine gun was repositioning, so the fight's back on. Stempos do have a better long range damage than the officer. So can take that fight at long range. And meanwhile on the other side, Stocky is struggling for some territory control. Pathfinders are containing him pretty effectively so far. Some LNGs kicking in though on the Grenadiers. The 2 2 about to pop out as well, so that will help in the pushback. Already have the AA half track out though. Didn't even uh, supervise that, it looks like. So that's a very fast timing on the AA half track. Do already have a pack out though for Stocky building that before the 2 2 2, which is a little bit unusual. But will allow it to be in a nice position to start things off. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Nine kills so far on the sniper, about to go up to ten perhaps. Captain charging forward so threatening with the bar. Here comes the 222. Sniper actually hitting the retreat there, perhaps not entirely necessary, but fair enough. Some base outs of fire coming in. Smoke's over here, but it was targeted on the building. Often happen, you know, some beef heroes. If you don't see the smoke coming down, it can sometimes be in the wrong position when you move your camera across. So if you see some smoke in an unexpected position, you might have to just dodge regardless of what you expect it to be targeting. Just an observer bug that can happen in game as well. Uh oh, bad news for the A half track. Set that up into handbrake mode as well. And down it goes. I'm not, not a big fan of using the handbrake mode in that situation. It's the extra stage of disengaging the handbrake slows you down, and if you're in front of an anti tank gun like that, it's often results in death. Do have the AC out for Vic as well on this site. Looking for an opportunity. But the pack did rotate as well, and we do have a Raketan over here. With Tiger Ben also. So allies with pretty good territory control right now, but it feels like they're falling behind in the KD. You can see Baton doing really, really poorly. Vic slightly better, but still negative. Yeah, losing the uh, A half drag very costly. Got a uh, third green deer in the mix now for Stocky. And Sniper just going to town at the moment. Tank gun about to pop out for Baton. Late retreat on the uh, captain. Uh oh. Two to two. A little bit late starting the chase though as well. He's chasing though. Still chasing. There's an anti tank gun coming through. AC switching sides. Oh, did the two to two bite off more than it can chew? Behind the building, we do have the pack right there, and the AEC decides not to try and round the corner. There was a green deer there threatening the Faust. Would have been a bit risky. Pack might have had an opportunity to fire off two shots. And the 2 2 2, I think it would have died to one more shot, but it's kind of right. Yeah, I think it would have died. But, you know, AEC is a lot more expensive than the 2 2 2, so it's a lot more fuel. And considering you have to you know, especially side tech to get it as well, you can kind of bake that into its price also. At least to be cautious. It's going to be a big mine. Yep, three models down to it. Do have uh, some recovery sappers out from Vic. Did go for all engineers. Hunted that mortar pit out the back. Already has one kill. 
rising the fuel point and you can see the axis fuel control and just map control quite strong at the moment that sniper allowing them a lot of pressure through the center but maybe the mortar pit can reverse that no sweeper yet for a baton maybe doesn't need to get one now that he's lost the AA half track doesn't have to worry about running over telemines but Generally does pay to get it. Yeah, maybe a minute or so before you get the light vehicle out. Looks like we've got double bars on that Pathfinder squad. That is lethal. Yeah, but they also are very prone to dropping them. Oh boy, is that going to be a bar Jaeger light? No, he's going to pick it up on the over. Oh boy, I forgot to activate the uh... wipe indicator. There we go. Okay, a fourth Grenadier for Stocky. Quite late on this one as well, but in these 2v2 situations, putting extra Grenadier I think is kind of helpful because it's probably going to die to artillery at some stage. So, you know, just get one extra now, start vetting it up. Because it's probably going to get smushed by maybe the Mortar Pit or Scots later on. Speaking of, okay, one on that mod pit after that shot. It is though, do manage to both, you know, decap the cutoff and decap the fuel, so allies falling behind in that department. Control of the munitions point as well. AEC has been pretty well contained overall. Still zero kills. Pack Howie out now as well, right next to the mortar pits. Doing high sweepers spot that mine. MG covering this to do some wire off over here, which is kind of interesting. Kind of limiting that uh, flank, which allows that machine gun to really lock down the fuel. That's pretty smart. Going for the VP, got a mine over there, going to sweep that off. Good work from Vic. Kitten over here covering, expecting. Do have the section with the pyrotechnics, has the boosted sight. Might be able to, oh, sniper with the incendiary shot. Might be able to uh, avoid running into the machine gun over there. But yeah, that's, a, that's an issue with these Pathfinders, you know, you put the double bars on them because they've also got the double Scod Grands. They uh, are very prone to dropping them. And I don't think they got like the uh, buff that Rifleman got where they are less prone to dropping weapons as well. Rifleman got their drop rate from what, I think it was like 30, like one third. 3% to uh, 20%? Can't remember exactly. But yeah, Pathfinders didn't get that same buff, so. If they get the double bars, they are very prone to dropping them, especially these ones. INR Pathfinders, not quite so bad. Yeah, so officer waiting around the corner, gonna spring a bit of an ambush. Enemy causing trouble, trying to I'm take not to go points. for the Vickers K on that yet as well. Feigned the grenade, cancelled it, goes for it on a second pump. And forces the retreat, holding on to that VP quite nicely. The anti-tank gun coming out here is quite low on health though. 
recon plane up for Stocky, having locked into Jaeger armor. Feels like it's been quite a long time since I've seen Jaeger armor, though. Maybe fortified armor has started to take over as the more popular elephant commander now. But it's, it's refreshing, you know. It's nice that we don't see Jaeger armor in like 90% of these games. Good, good for the game's health. out in the center. It hasn't got the uh, spawning scopes on it quite yet though. Not Vet 2 on that yet either, so it doesn't have the sight boost. That is a lot of firepower. Try to bait them into this machine gun, but the Jaeger lights are going to see that coming. Pants 4 out now for Tiger Ben. There still has quite a lot of uh, manpower spear after this. Only oh, down to one folk screen here though. I need to build another one of those, have some more sneering capabilities. He's also got an ISG, but it's currently getting bombed out by the mortar pit. Oh wow, a centaur from Vic. Unexpected choice. And uh, equip some piets on the Royal Engineers as well. Let's see how many they're carrying. Okay, trying to bait the Panzer IV in here of Stocky. We've got a second Panzer IV waiting. We've got the anti tank gun back there, AC. Good, uh, oh, fires off the tread shot. Panzer IV, sure to go down. What about the second Panzer IV, though? No, nope, that's going to get away. I think it was okay of Vic to uh, use the tread shot on the first Panzer IV, though, as well. It did allow the Panzer IV to, you know, stop in its tracks. Maybe the Centaur dodging one shot because of that. I find is killed over here though. So I'm just down to two now. Okay, we've got a Sherman from Baton as well. It's on high explosive though. It's a smoke. No. We've already complained up though for Stocky. Second anti tank gun now for Stocky as well. Okay, lining up the barrage on that machine gun. Officer has the Vickers now. Connection from the pack Howie. Aiming for the machine gun, gets the pack. Plane crash there. The pack gun is ready for orders. So maybe Stocky, you know, having gone for the second pack, considering the elephant stall at this stage. He hasn't got Battle Phase 3 yet, but if he was planning to go for another tank from Tier 3, he could have uh, started that up by now. We are losing a sector. But yeah, Centaur will work quite nicely against the Recon Planes and the Sector Assault Planes later in the game. It from a baton having to rebuild the anti-air half-track. 
can see Vic. You know, there's this anti tank pretty well covered between the tread shot, the anti tank gun, and the piets. Can still fend off any tanks. Not left super vulnerable in that department by going for that centaur. Okay, uh, here the howitzer out the back, firing at the mortar pit region. These tank guns for the Axis working overtime at the moment, getting some big hits. Another appears required for the Allied tanks. Got the mortar pit still firing though, firing off a barrage as well. Kind of interesting to see Vic as well going for medics, not going for uh, med supplies upgrades on his troops in spite of going for a three section start. God, that's pretty interesting. Sherman switching over to the far side, away from the packs for the moment. They are rotating those, saw that Sherman rotation with the sniper I believe. Still got that MG camping the fuel. Oof. Sherman on the far side. Seems like the main gun's not firing. Okay, there it goes. I find he's doing their best over here. The Green Deers are behind heavy cover, but you probably see the double packs out the back. They do indeed. Green Deer's nearly going down. Sherman quite far back. But he does have that sight. And try to play the range here. Just out of range of these double packs. No, this one does connect. The Pathfinders, once they dropped down to just one green deer, would have been better at closing the distance on them there instead of trying to stay at range out of maybe partial light cover. It would have been more effective. Got the command vehicle upgrade now on the AEC. Your AVRE funny? It's ready. But allies down by about 100 VPs at this stage. Axis control in the center has been smothering. Even with that mortar pit they haven't managed to break through really. Going for a base barrage this time. Got a few troops back there for Vic as well. That could be quite nasty. We've got the uh, P-47 available for Batana. We've got a big... Armoured Force come out to the far side, the AVRE for Vic. Under attack. Oh, this could be nasty if he gets a stun off on the Panzer IV. Against tank gun coming down here as well. We Planes pulled in on the corner. No white from that AVRE shot. Pretty good for uh, Tiger Ben, who does actually stop. Could perhaps get hit by a second pass of these planes. He's not paying attention. Big damage, Panzer IV popping the Blitz. Both the planes get shot down already? Nope. Come through for another pass, gets down to a quarter health, but... It couldn't quite get in range to do enough damage. Oh boy, ISG abandoned in the center. Oh, and there goes the 222 as well, nicely done by Paton. Striking hard through the center. Double packs on the far side. Unable to respond. Yari looking for the wipe. There goes the raketen. And what a turnaround all of a sudden here. For the allies getting all sorts of kills. Um, this is version. Uh, updated version with the question marks now. having some trouble registering the uh, decrease. Got the elephant out now though, so let's see what that can do. It was a good time for the allies to make a pushback before the elephant arrived and started to contain them further. See that 
tiger bin still floating quite a lot maybe hoping to get the uh, king tiger out there's the third tick truck coming through now did decide to go for another Ober squad though instead of another folk speed here so as I said lacking in snares Big shot from the AVRE getting the D crew on the heavy machine gun looks like the outright got destroyed as well didn't even get decrewed Elephant going chasing we do have the recon plane up from the command vehicle for Vic Off now, though. Headquarters are under fire. Going for another base barrage. There's a uh, mid back there, as well as one squad, and a couple more retreating. Could get a few nice connections, but so far, zero kills on the Howie. Jackson out for Baton. And yeah, no Scott play so far. He's been doing pretty good work with the Sherman though, switching from flank to flank. Causing uh, the double anti tank guns to have to rotate very frequently. And now he's in control of the uh, all three of the VPs at this stage. So they're turning things around quite quickly in that department as well. Oh boy, where's the Sherman going? Oh, no, you can't back through there, buddy. Oh, what was that? What was that? That was so bad. He didn't fire off smoke? Vehicle crew killed over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. Oh, the sniper died, though. Oh, boy. Well, there you go. How? Was that from the pack hour? It must have been, right? Didn't, didn't see any pathfinders in the vicinity. All the way back there. But yeah, the Sherman needed to back away through that angle. Still would have been at risk of going down, but backing past the double packs like that was never going to get away especially without any smoke touching away from the rifle made there you see he hasn't fired off the tread shot there it goes just hitting it with the slow boat why does it look like that oh that's war speeds interesting to see that that Ooh. Don't see the tread shot in the uh, bar down here anymore after all these upgrades, the war speed and the fire vehicle recon plane filling up the bar. 50 cal back here to lock down that VP. Now it's a uh, switching angles now. up on the base barrages and still at zero kills here comes the king tiger Vic not very well prepared for this it doesn't have enough room as popcap to build a firefly either so this could be a bit of a struggle oh that's a whopper of a heavy mortar barrage right out the back here connecting with the double anti tank guns can of course stun the king tiger in place the AVRE. There's the Piets. They uh, have retreaters. AVRE threatening here. Does stun it right on the edge. Centaur extremely low. War speeding out. And good damage from the anti tank gun. Just ripping in, penetrating most of its shots. Force away that King Tiger for repairs for quite some time. We do have the repair upgrade coming through at the moment. Fuel cash down by Stocky as well, by the way. 
Okay, playing up for Stocky. How long will it last? The Centaur trying to shoot it down. There it goes. It's all disengaging. Perhaps looking to camp the center, but you know, again, allies in control of the VPs and now taking the lead in that department. Go with the planes ready for Tiger Ben, but at the same time, do still have that centaur around and make use of the crew repairs on that now. Close range rifle nades, good dodge from Baton. Now we're getting to work with the barrage. Could be actually quite nice to just drop some phosphorus through here. So it's just a regular high explosive. Could be using the heat barrage as well. Check the shot there from the AVRE. 17 kills. That's off to a really strong start. Gammon bomb coming through. Dodges away in the nick of time though. Now we're coming through the centre this time. We'll catch a couple of these units on retreat. Quite. Okay, and the big boys rolling through the centre. Can target elephant combo. Hands of four cleared off the far edge as well. You can't play, I think, from the command vehicle being shot down really fast there. This Pinto upgrades have been orders. working well. Yeah, Axis need to get back on these VPs. Coming through the center now with some grenadiers. Got the broom bear out now for Stocky. Spotting scopes on the uh, broom bear, I think, spotting the Jackson as it passed through. Playing the elephant to get a shot off. Jackson needs to back a little bit further away than that if he wants to repair it. It's spinning around. Oh boy, AVRE. Don't might be going for the Panzer IV, but going for an infantry to get any kills though. Still at 17. Major artillery through the center. Anti tank guns there with the uh, AP ammo equipped. The Pathfinder's doing some spotting. Good grenades from the airborne. Oh, it's a mine. Quite a few mines through here. Double anti tank guns going to work. AVRE trying to back away is very slow though. King Tiger maybe going to look to try and finish things off over here. We've got a howitzer. Firing into the corner, I think, actually. Double anti tank guns here for Vic. Nope, nope. Recon playing for Stocky. King Tiger having to get out though. The double anti tank guns blasting him too hard. Jackson coming around the corner. Maybe going to look for the kill. No. Nope. Was it perhaps a Faust opportunity there as well? But doesn't quite manage to get it. Oh, anti tank gun goes down fast. The LMG Grenadiers. Gonna get killed off by the boom bear. Jackson too low in health to really force it away. We'll get one shot by the elephant if he attempts it. Should just cut his losses. Okay, we've got the planes coming in from Tiger Ben. Gonna make sure that the centaur is not shooting at the tank on the ground. Shooting at the planes instead. And oh boy, there goes the AEC. Good damage. Panzer IV extremely low. Looks like the mines over here have been triggered. There's a four going down. Oh, the question marks are because the uh, overlay can't work with Chinese characters, perhaps. And that's what it is. Perhaps because I don't have Chinese characters installed on my computer. That might be the case. The cow goes down. We are already lining up a shot here. And down it goes. Go for 
the recrew on the 50. Oh, the planes catch the Brumby and they knock out the Pyo squad. Bit of collateral damage. Sickle you see on the ground is from the Sector Assault, not from the uh, P-47s. Oh, the P-47s are still flying around. Got a flak panzer out now to shoot them down. Make short work of them as well. Gonna get quite a lot of VET. You can see VET 1 straight away after shooting down those two planes. The flak panzer. Double Jackson's coming out to the far side here. Heck. Killed off by the AVRE. And now getting finished off by Vic. Who does need to heal up his anti tank guns. They're a little bit low. At risk of getting decrewed by the King Tiger. are getting a little bit low on VPs now, 142 remaining. The pens are forced away by the double Jacksons. Mord Pit has been a steady performer out the back, but it's, it's like it's getting targeted by the howitzer again and getting a touch low now. Chasing in after the double Jacksons that are spinning around. Oh, they're getting jammed by the pack, Howie. Could go for an attack ground attempt here, perhaps. Doesn't go for it. Just got a report of an infantry unit being wiped out. Uh, see anything on the oh re echelon. Okay. Losses are starting to stack up on both sides at the moment. It's a good counter to the elephant. Find some pressure. Oh, Rumbia. Doesn't quite manage to get the anti tank grenade off. Double LMG Green is behind the CV cover. They've been locking down that VP time and time again. The uh, Sherman did doesn't have a really good way of clearing them off at the moment. Jackson bouncing off the elephant there. Old pit coming off brace now. Needs some repairs. The howitzer are coming into the center this time. Still at zero kills, by the way. Seems to come around the corner, but the Rakitin is there. A bit of flame mortar support out the back, but it's not hitting too much, really. King Tiger on the move now. Got the spearhead mode active. The Blink Chain Guns are very low in health. I think the uh, rapid maneuvers on this one to get away a bit faster. Corbett in the center, exchanging grenades through the smoke. Good job from the paratroopers, but the King Tiger's waiting on the other side. Vic putting down a Muni's cache here. He's at pretty much his pop cap limit, so there's not much else he can do with that manpower currently. We'll feed some Muni's to his teammate. But get a few more of those P-47s, perhaps. We do have that flak pans on the field now though, so it will be less effective. In fact, Stocky going for double flak panzers will leave himself it's a little bit short change for repairs, but let's have enough manpower to build another Pyo squad. Centaur coming out to the far side, up to Vet 3 on that. But the points are ticking fast against the Allies. Missing. And missing again. The other one. Takes two shots as well. It's a lot of repairs. Feeding Vet to that elephant up to Vet 2 now. And it's very hard to dodge from those spotting scopes. The flak pans are providing some sight there. Life 
very hard for Baton's double Jackson. This elephant has been uh, well handled by Stocky, getting aggressive when he needs to. Constantly putting damage onto these allied tanks. Got a walking Stuka out now for Tiger Ben. VRE switching sides. Trying for attempt by Stocky, but I don't think that's going to last. AT needs to uh, come and assist on this side. Looks like he's going across to the VP though instead. Suppression, keeping those paras safe on retreat. We do have a Talamine over here. Engineers are there to sweep it away. Stuker. The pack Howie and gets the Deeker on there as well. Oh, the wrong neighborhood for that Flak Panzer. Just gets blasted by the Piets. And there it goes. AVRE firing off a shot as well. That was the Vessage uh, Flak Panzer as well. Didn't sweep that Teller though. Could backfire on the Allies later. I think it's a wise choice from Vic, you know, trying to find a different angle away from the elephant, trying to hide behind these trees. Big bunker buster though, quick decrew on that anti-tank gun. Charging forwards, Rombia. Do some good damage. Oh, nice decrew on the pack though. Captain does get the job done. For a shot on the flak pans in the meantime. Stocky did go for a second pyo, appearing up at the moment. Now he's looking for the decap in the center. And we're gonna get it as well, firing off some smoke from the uh, mortar pit. Flak pans are providing the site for that elephant. Much repairs required. That elephant is spitting out crazy damage. Nearly bit three on that now. It's not getting you know, that many kills, but putting the allied vehicles out of commission for such extended periods. Oh, the how he got one kill, lads. There you go. Six kills on the walking Stuka. Ready to fire again. Oh, okay, there we go. One more pit again. So the kill on the decrew weapon here, I think. Vic, though, having lost that anti-tank gun. Oh, no, he still can't, can't fit the uh, Firefly into his army. Is that a 15 pop cap unit, the Firefly, I think? Pretty expensive. down though. Lots of stun to stack up for the allies, especially for Baton, who doesn't have a huge manpower bank like Vic does. He's a harder time replacing those losses. Double Jackson's looking to come in from the side. So walking Stuka, what's that one going for next? He's, he's obsessed with taking down the mortar pit. Luckily catches a couple squads that were nearby. And the double Jacksons don't chase in after the flak pans. There was an opportunity there. Oh, good decrew from the AVRE knocking that out. And the Piet squads keeping the King Tiger at bay over here as well. You can see the benefits of the spearhead mode though. The suppression kicking in really limiting the effectiveness of handheld anti-tank against the King Tiger. And not only does it provide crazy sight, but that suppression, as I was saying, very good against those handheld anti-tank squads. All the infantry losses, though, do, do mean the Vic does manage to squeeze the Firefly into his army. He won't be able to fully reinforce everything, but... does have that Firefly now. 
Let's have a reasonable amount of munitions, getting both the shield rockets and the commander on it. And that can be a pretty good combination against the elephant, or against heavy tanks in general. Locking them in place with the tulip rockets coming in with the AVRE stun as well. It can be devastating. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. Going off to the British base. There are quite a few retreated units back there. Jackson's dropping the P-47s. Oh, but a good position on the pack for Stocky. Double Jackson's maybe biting off more than they can chew here. He's continuing on his way forwards. Oh, big damage hitting the rear armor. Got a third Jackson coming in for Baton. This could be the end of the flak panzer. A lot of smoke from all the vehicle wrecks over here. We've got the Firefly coming through. Stun on the Brumbia. Shield rockets lining up as well. And there goes the Brumbia. Flak Panzer going down. Got the MG42 as well. Allied infantry swarming in behind this. We've got another Flak Panzer out the back for stock. Yeah, I didn't see that one back there. Alpha is still alive. Jackson trying to get away. Hits. Oh, one of the missed. Flak Panzer does survive. Hanging on by a thread. Let's get a wipe here. Not quite enough damage. 50 cal turned against Baton. Yeah, it's chasing down that King Tiger though. Getting some big damage done. They're closing a section over here. Okay. So Baton did lose two Jacksons, but still has one decrewed over here, repaired, building another one. So has a good number of squads as well, even though they're very low in health. Maybe get the decrew on this, coming out of suppression. Doesn't want to leave the capture circle though. Nexus are getting low on VPs, and the allies looking to set up the triple cap here. Playing up for Stocky. Did the Centaur die? No, it's still alive. Need some repairs. Could use the vehicle crew repairs on it, but he wants to wait until the recon plane's been shot down first. So it disables the gun. Well, if it's still ticking, but hasn't repaired yet, he's going for the Flak Panzer repair first, which is a little bit risky. Got a second Firefly out now for Vic, so four tank destroyers. Elephant getting uh, aggressive, going for the mortar pit kill, and here come the double Jacksons chasing in, looking for the kill on the elephant. He pops the tiger weak point, stunning one of the Jacksons. The other one getting jammed behind it, and I uh, didn't think the double Jacksons did any damage there. Combination of misses and bounces. Unfortunate. And Gary pokes his head around the corner, wiping a green squad. Maybe it's three on that now. Seem to on the far side. And Meanwhile, forcing a whole bunch of retreats. We do have double raquettes over here. But yeah. Uh, oh, where's that centaur going? Oh, where's the centaur going? He can't afford to lose that. There'll be the anti-air down. Oh, that is well and truly dead. Or Fireflies round in the corner. Shield rockets, perhaps. Stunning that in place. The double kittens rotating across. The Piets need to keep going. And the Piets coming back in. The double kittens connecting. Piets getting suppressed, though. King Tiger does get away alive. Can't say the same about the Rakittans though. AVRE knocking both of those out. We can't play coming in for Stocky and don't have the anti air to shoot that down any longer. Here comes the Jackson looking for the KT kill on the other side. B47's called in as well. All the planes at once. Oh, there goes the Jackson. 
The King Tiger hanging on by a thread. Wasn't quite enough. The Firefly chasing in, hoping to finish the job. There we go. If that had got away, that would have been a devastating blow to the Allies. Planes could still target the Firefly and knock that out as well. Not sure if they managed to lock onto it. Oh, they did! And the Firefly goes down. The enemy destroyed a vehicle. Oh no. Vic lost a lot of his infantry as well. Lots are coming down this area. Not safe to repair over here. Backs away a bit. Worth for coming in. Take a look at army size. You can see the baton. Losing both his Jacksons in that fighting. Very far behind. But the Axis are down to just 50 VPs. But a Panther is an option. Couldn't rebuild the uh, King Tiger. That would be on cooldown. Panther not very good against infantry. Doesn't have a machine gun upgrade, so we'll struggle to force away this section. Not sure why the section's even leaving the capture circle here. You have double kittens over here, potentially for the recruit for Tiger Ben. Firefly coming in. Bounces its first shot. And misses. I think it was a bounce. Must be the smoke out from the Obers covering this. Firefly coming in. I mean. So it is the AVRE hoping to stun that panther in place. Can't manage to do so. Maybe Vic could pick up one of these anti-tank guns as well. He still has plenty of resources in reserve though. If he wants to build another Firefly, he could. Second panther coming in for Tiger Ben. Oh boy, one of the Pathfinders died. Did I miss that? How did I miss that? Going for the USF base, could catch the Ambo. Stuka's ready to fire, so it was the Werfer. Don't have a very good target at the moment. It's actually not very much allied infantry, really. HQ is under attack. Damage from there from the pack. Another squad of paratroopers for Baton. Here we go. Centaur rebuilt. Panther diving in. Oh, there goes the Centaur. Didn't last long. Kind of a lucky moving shot there from the Panther. It's a worth the strike. Paratroopers retreating from it. Oh, this one running into it, though. Abandoned. Oh, it did get destroyed, though. Diving in now. Maybe going to go for an ambo kill. It has, has been weakened a touch by the howitzer fire. Oh. Here we go. Rotations. We've got the Axis making their move. They're diving in here. Here's the Panther. Come too deep, though. Comet, Firefly, Jackson combo with the AVRE. Here come the Piets. Piets can force back the Elephant. Hands is coming in from the side for the Piet squads. Big damage on the AVRE. Oh, the Panther is going to take engine crits in front of all of this. There goes the Panther. Oh, there goes the Jackson in return, though. It was at an awkward amount of health, getting its repairs interrupted by the Panther diving in there. Stuka coming down. The flak pans is working nicely against the infantry though. Ah, I think what's happening is where the vehicle was last decrewed. That's where the uh, vehicle death indicator crew indicator is coming up. Before it used to be on the vehicle itself. Now we've got the Howie just putting the boots to them. Allies contained in their base. 
getting slammed by the howitzer Vic still has a lot of resources can push out a lot of units right now could Mio call in another engineer squad since all his vehicles are so low build another tank he needs to get something cooking here can't afford to sit on this many resources this late in the game officer goes down making use of the crew repairs repairing up hard Using that Centaur really hurting the allies, you know, that recon plane up makes us so much more confident. Oh, and the uh, medics died as well over here. So we've gone down to the howitzer. Damage here from the anti tank gun of Baton. Oh, and they do manage to decrow a pack as well. Maybe that could get, uh... Oh, the AoE suppression kicking in. Picked up, though, by Baton. Double anti tank guns would work very, very well. Anti tank guns still over here. Got to work on the other Flak Panzer. AVRE coming through the center. Flak Panzer, though, with this Bonnie Scope, sees this coming. Vic making a desperate play, charging in with all these vehicles, he's popping the war speed, getting stunned though, by the target weak point on the elephant. No munitions for the tulip rockets, no he does have it, not activating it, and there goes the AVRE. Comet driving its way through, gonna take an engine crit over here perhaps. Finds the uh, Werfer, but misses the first shot. And then goes down to the elephant. We have lost the squad. Bit of a half baked attack there by Vic. The allies still had 100 VPs, they didn't need to go for a dive that desperately. And he still had so many resources, he could have you know, pushed out another unit, made that dive a lot more impactful. I'm not sure why he didn't build, you know, he had like 700. You can see that once the AI took over, they built two Cromwells. Yeah, I don't know. Strange right at the end there from Vic, but overall a very good game. Stocky uh, showing some real elephant prowess. Very well handled this game. Shows how much of an impact having that Centaur had for the Allies though. Shutting down those recon planes, shutting down the sector assault planes. Once it had died that first one, tables start to turn very quickly. Couple of Jackson's dives not really working out for Baton. Had a couple of close opportunities to knock out that elephant. Didn't quite manage it though. Unfortunate. Seems the brakes though, you know, sometimes you just bounce and miss. And it didn't quite work out for him. Overall, very solid play from Vic right up until the end though. Mm, nearly able to close this one out, but well done by the Axis. Very resilient play from them. Anyway guys, wrap on that. If you like good games to be cast by me, details in the video description below. Otherwise I'll catch you off for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.